Hi guys, this is Leo from Codes and Posters and today I'm gonna talk about the code. Sometimes you have to go through the worst to get the best. Right. Well, I think this quote basically tells that for, for you to actually achieve something great in your life, you have to en endure uh, problems, you know, you have, to en you have to face reality and reality, it will throw you a lot of challenges and sometimes these uh, challenges they they will make you stronger you know and they will they will create a much better person much more res resilient person in the end so you can't i, I don't think it's possible and i, I don't think nobody ever achieved something extraordinarily great without uh, passing and without suffering and and experiencing pain so i think this one is, is similar to the, to the other quote that i designed which is um, no pain no gain right so it's it's quite similar in a way it, it kind of tells this that actually challenges in life and and I mean problems and things that we face through life they're just parts of, of life you know and they will just come like it or not these things they will just happen to you and then in a kind of a, like a masochistic way <laughs> you should actually understand that it's part of life and there's nothing you can do and nothing you can change about it uh, and then you just you should just embrace it and treat it like life is life is a game you know imagine like that life is a game and those things that comes to you when you're trying to accomplish uh, your dreams you're trying to do what you love which basically i think people most people try to and then life just throws these big challenges, challenges of, in, on them. And then many people, they, they take it, uh, they take these challenges in a very uh, bad way, right? They see those challenges, not as opportunities, but they see as something that is holding them back. But imagine that you change your perception change your way of thinking and imagine that every time something bad happens to you you see as a opportunity for you to get better at yourself be a better person of yourself and you see those things as challenges right and I think the most successful people in life, I think they they see the world this way, you know, I, uh, because people will just throw shit on you <laughs> all the time. <laughs> and that's how life is, you know, you want to do your best, you want to help the world. Sometimes you want to do something that is great for the world. And then sometimes you're gonna see that people not not even don't give a fuck, but they will also make it very hard for you. And and whatever you wanna accomplish in life, not not only I mean I'm just giving you a, a small example, but anything you wanna do in life, like there's gonna be massive challenges and and obstacles and things, you know. Like you wanna go to a, to a, to a, to a school, you have to study really hard to pass the exams, to be as accepted. You want to go to a job, there's going to be 200 people um, 
interviewing uh, uh, being interviewed and you have to excel yourself or you have to be to do something very personal that there's a connection between you and who is hiring you uh, you want to have a serious relationship you want to get married maybe and there's going to be like thousands of men who just want to get laid and stuff like that you know like it's, it's always going to be like that and that's part of the world that's part that's how the world is that's how society is nothing's easy so you know about that you're 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 a grown-up probably if you're watching this and you know that these things are not going to be easy life is not easy by any means um, but so that, that's why this, this quote is something like very uh, important you know because it, sometimes it is through suffering that you learn you know like it's through failure right failed relationships and I mean I had so many failed relationships in my, in my, my life uh, people is, is, is interesting that people just keep disappointing you know like <laughs> every time I meet someone new to make business with or to do something and or or just to be a friend like even as friends or relationships and everything like uh, it's incredible like people keep like failing into what they they said and in failing into what they uh, they want to accomplish and, and things like that so, so yeah uh, I, I mean I, I've, I've, I've passed I've been through some serious shit in my life I'm not gonna deny and it's, it haven't, it's not easy it, it, it hasn't been easy since, since then I don't know about you but to me life always feels like a struggle because you know? <laughs> I think that people like just everywhere in social media everybody just puts uh, a facade you know everybody just puts a facade and everything uh, is uh, we live in a very fake world we, we live in a world where imagine like Disneyland <laughs> and imagine like or imagine like you're in a hotel right and you go to the hotel I don't know if you've ever done this in your life but I've done it sometimes and it's 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 really funny but <laughs> you are in a hotel and the lobby is all beautiful and everything right oh uh, everything looks and there's a smell and there's like music and and then there's uh, people walking dressed well and then uh, you're just uh, gonna uh, imagine there's like a room to put your luggage and usually these fancy hotels they do it for you right they collect for you but imagine that in this way you in this particular place you you have to get the luggage and put it in the the luggage room and then it's so funny because you you pass this whole beautiful thing and then you open the door and even the door the design of the door outside is is beautiful and then but when you open inside it's just this empty ugly room with this uh white light and nothing on the walls just a just a dirty space with the walls all all wrecked and then you have to put your luggage <laughs> on it <laughs> so that's an interesting analogy of life you know that's that's pretty much how life and how the world is now so how society always like <laughs> tries to to create a to create create an image of everything of itself and it's so crazy like how you see these things going on each thing that you see in life man like each thing that you see is like a big facade you know like we want to dress well like for example me i don't, I don't dress like this uh, when i'm home you know this is not the way i dress at home i actually dress using this um, gym clothes because for me it's very comfortable so again and for me also i go every day to the gym so i just use i just sleep and and use this the gym gym clothes here at home 
but for you because I want to I want to look cool and I want to look like a <laughs> like a, a creative person or a designer or whatever <laughs> then I put this fancy t-shirt right so you see how stupid it is so that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty much how how life and society is in general right like people uh, just putting a facade everything Instagram social media YouTube everybody looks smart on YouTube right everybody wants to 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 <laughs> every, everybody I was li listening to uh, Joe Rogan um, this other day there was this guy I think called Naval and he was saying something really funny he was saying that he <laughs> he looks at the mirror I think and he likes imagine or he in his mind he's like imagining him one week after when he's at Joe Rogan and imagine him saying things in in a smart way <laughs> Just, like, just so funny to, to listen. <laughs> so you can imagine that everybody that goes to, to a talk show, everybody who is getting interviewed also have these fantasies <laughs> in their mind <laughs> to get it, to becoming like really <laughs> oh so, sounding like very <laughs> intelligent and very smart in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, so why why was why was I saying this? I, I completely forgot. What, what does this this relate to this quote? Uh, <laughs> I completely forgot. I don't know why why this actually relates to this quote, but it's quite interesting. To see. I I think I was saying this because um, because yeah, people society. Uh, we will we'll, we'll drop this we, 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 yeah no yeah basically the reason I would say is because uh, you got this fa facade and this beautiful thing that society tries to portray itself and then suddenly, suddenly you see that the drop the, the mask drops <laughs> on everything <laughs> right and then when you start to get older you <laughs> You see that everything, everything's unreal. Everything, nobody's like, it's like serious. You, you just don't. You start to question everything, and, and then you start to not take everybody serious, seriously. And yeah, <laughs> and it's 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 really crazy when this thing starts to happen in in your life. When because when you are like young, when I was at young, at least. Uh, I believed in so many things uh, and then you start seeing that after the years go by and you start getting into relationships and you see how easy it is for relationships to become uh, dysfunctional uh, how easy it is for you to be for people to try to manipulate you and put themselves into positions into positions of power you start to see man these things and then all the masks they start to, to drop you know um, every time a mask drops at least for me in my life I I used to like really like get suffered you know I, I used to really get sad and I used to there's always when a big when something important that you're doing in your life you, that you're doing uh, and you have a certain belief and then when you lose this belief because you see uh, the reality hitting your face and the masking like imagine you are in a relationship with someone and you think is everything you think is beautiful and then suddenly you you find out that this person is cheating on you and then boom you got this huge huge disappointment and you see that that person was lying to you and uh, there was a basically a face dropping the, the mask there you see that 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 person was putting a facade on you and it fucking hurts man it 
it really really hurts especially if you it's the first time especially if it's the first time and it happened to me it happened to me and I think it happened to everybody and then everybody face faces itself with this with these episodes in life where basically you just get a huge disappointment about something and about someone and it's it takes a lot of time sometimes and depending on your peace of mind depending on your self-love and depending on the experience that you have in life it might take days and it might take uh, it might take uh, years for you to 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 recover you know it might take take days and it might take years for you to to recover and it's it's really it's really bad you know it's, it's really bad uh, and it man it happens so much time so much times in my life um, for example people who disappoint me like for example I got people offering me jobs I got CEO, CEOs of companies coming to me, yes, and offering me the job, a job on the spot, and I giving my my salary expectations to them, and they, they say yes, absolutely amazing. Uh, let's do it. Let's start next week, and then the offer never happens, you know. Uh, the the actually job offer never comes and you see people sometimes saying oh you're amazing you're so talented I I want to work with you and then you say that they're just bullshitting you right so why why does people do that why does um, people actually Why, why is people actually doing this these things to others like why do they lie why, why do they why do they cheat um, I, I think that sometimes people just make mistakes uh, it's not that they it's not that they want to to cheat and most of the times I think it's just that something unexpected happened with them because people always want well they look they, they think about themselves first right so yeah sometimes people make mistakes you know like for example I can imagine looking looking through the perspective of this CEO for example that gave me a job offer and then never I mean he didn't give me he 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 said I, he would give me and everything was was great and it, it never happened but I think it's 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 normal you know through through life after you pass through life you just uh, see these things happening you know and and you just get used to it, you know, you just, you just start to, in the beginning, it sounds a little weird, you know, uh, after you get this, in the, in the beginning of your life, after you get this major, some major disappointments, you know, especially like if you're building business also, and you're doing business with people that you, that you like, and that you really have some feelings about, and then these people just, disappoint you on the way they just do something nasty on you it's, it's really 
really really sad you know to see and it can really put you down but as the coach says when these things happen you just uh, you just take it as, as a learning you know and it, it, I know it's easy everything here that I say it sounds so easy and in reality it's so hard right because when it hits you you are really expecting you know maybe you were like imagine you were unemployed for six six months and then you meet with this kind of ceo that is always like that comes to you very passionate and say good things about you say that he lo he loves your work and then you never hear from him again it kind of puts you down, you know, it puts you in a state of mind where because it, you create great expectations in your mind and your your mind is, your ego is great at coming with these things because you start dreaming, oh, now finally my life is going to go back on tracks, you know, because I was so so much time unemployed and I was I was I am already almost without any food to eat and I'm getting so concerned about what the bills I have to pay and and then when something like this happens like it can be really sad it can be really disappointing to you you know and that's the tragedy tragedy of life you Try to understand that this don't doesn't happen to you. It's not don't make it personal. Uh, but tr try to 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 understand uh, maybe something happened that you don't know, man. But you know, as you grow older, these kind of things they. I think they tend to alleviate more, at least to me, you know, because it happens so many times to me, these kind of things uh, where you you think that now your life is going to make a change, right? And then something does something nasty that it, it just fucks with everything. And it's incredible like how one person is enough to fuck with everything, right? One person can be enough to, to actually fuck everything. So, yeah, it can get like really, it can get really hard, you know, with time. But, and I, but it, it, uh, the more you, you suffer and the more hard times you, you get in your life, I think the more is resilient you get I think you know it's like a, imagine like it's like going to the gym like you have to develop I think what this code also is all about <laughs> is about uh, is about saying that in life to reach the best of you 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 have to develop you have to really uh, develop resilience and you have to be strong and for you to be strong sometimes uh, for, for example how do you in the gym how do you get stronger you get stronger by exercising every day and by actually uh, how do you get more resistant for example how can you train and put more weight and get bigger it's about suffering, right? It's about putting uh, labor and putting uh, power, uh, stretching your muscles so they b kind of break, you know? Uh, and then when your muscle tissues, they, they break, then they get inflammation. And then it's because of the inflammation that they recover and they, then they recover bigger, you know? is something uh, biological that happens here 
and it's the same with everything in life so emotionally also the more you suffer emotionally the stronger you get in your, your mind so you have to train your mind so actually whenever something like this happens in your life and the more you suffer the more bad things happen in your life the stronger you're gonna be right so that's why that's the reason the meaning of this code sometimes you have to go through the worst to get the best so whenever you experience a bad situation in your life take it as fuel take it as something that will definitely make you stronger in the future all right so here you go thank you very much for watching and please support the channel and see you again bye